guys, this is Ray coming at you from just outside Pontiac Ray's garage. You guys gave me some pretty good feedback from my last video when I was describing my 67 Firebird. So I figured I'd give you a video on my 68 Firebird, the race car. It's actually powered by a much smaller motor, the Pontiac 301, which is a motor that uh, most Pontiac guys throw in the trash or swap out something like for a bigger Pontiac motor or an LS or a big block Chevy, something like that. So. This is my race car and I'm uh, about to show you uh, all about it. And yes, it's slow, uh, but that that won't be for long. This is where I talk about the little 301 that powers this car. It's just a 20 over Pontiac 301 with Kaufman aluminum heads on it. It's got 10 to one compression. It has a little hydraulic flat type of cam, 224, 234 at 50 cam with I believe right around 515 lift, 530 lift. It's got a uh, narrowed Wensler single plane intake topped off with a 850 FST carb. It's a double pumper and um, it is right around 10 to 1 compression with its current setup. There you can see the HEI that powers the ignition. Again, nothing special on this thing, very basic. FST850 is fed by a Dash 8 line and an aeromotive regulator. Um, you can see it's a return style setup. Here's a look at the nitrous uh, system. It's a mix of sniper and NX parts I have not used yet. Can uh, make up to 300 shot if I wanted to, but not yet. Cooling is handled by an old Griffin radiator, which still seems to work, thankfully. And a no-name uh, single fan. Moroso transmission cooler works great. These are indestructible. And the front of the engine, that's the front motor plate, stock pulleys, stock water pump, little mini alternator. This car also has a mid plate. So this thing fires up, it, it shakes, rattles, and rolls for sure. There's a little picture of the manual rack and pinion also. Front wheels are well drag lights with Moroso DS2s. Rears are drag lights also, uh, 15 by 8s, 30 by 10 Hoosiers on there with rim screws to keep them on. Rear end is a strange 9 with strange coilover shocks, has a back brace on it, connected to competition engineering ladder bar setup uh, with a lot of adjustability to it, thankfully. Braking duties are handled by Willwood, got Willwood on all four corners. Front end of the car is uh, just stock control arms, nothing trick. Strange shock in there too. Here's a look at the Summit Racing seat with vinyl cover and RJS 5-point harness setup. Quick release. I love that setup. It's really nice, comfortable. You can tighten them real tight. The rest of the roll cage is um, mild steel. It does have a funny car hoop. Previous owner wanted to go 750s in it, but it's sorted to 850s. It's missing a few bars at the bottom to go 750s, uh, but it's very well built. The back of the car, big wheel tubs fit 32 inch tall, 15 inch wide tires when it goes to big tire. Um, the rest of the, the cage is very well built, very nicely done. Added padding along the way. There's the front of it. Here's a look at the quick release steering wheel. It's just a little cheapy grant wheel with a quick release hub on it. Serves its purpose because getting out of this car is a pain in the butt. Look at the gauges I have, a transmission pressure, transmission temperature. Followed along with uh, oil pressure on the left, coolant temp on the right. Keep the uh, vitals, engine performance happy. Switch panel, little radio off to the left, just a cheap unit and switches for ignition, nitrous, things like that. There's a nitrous progressive controller along with its screen and a relay setup. Just got to clean up some of this wiring. It's a little ugly. There's the MSD Ultra 6AL box that uh, was just released this last year. Uh, it's app controllable with my phone. Picture of the BNM Pro Bandit shifter, which I love. It's like a slapstick. It's great. Here's the battery cutoff switch, parachute mount right below, 
and the two uh, battery charging ports under the rear wing. This is just a walk around to show the profile and the Coke bottle shape of a 68 Firebird. To this day, it's still one of my favorite cars ever. My black 67 is my high school car, my first car. And this thing, I had to get it because I wanted a race car and I didn't want to put a roll cage or roll bar in the black car. So this is going to take me as fast as I want to go. And uh, I just love this thing. I could stare at it all day long. I found this car out of uh, Virginia. Guy had a blown alcohol Pontiac motor in it. He sold it to me as a roller. I had it shipped to California a few years ago. And ever since then, it's uh, it's been a long time to make it mine. I've had uh, to upgrade some stuff, change some things. I knew I was going to run a short deck motor in it just to have fun and have it be my training wheel motor. Um, here's some miscellaneous pictures of, you know, the past build. There's the engine. Nothing special, just... Upgraded parts in a stock through one block. And uh, I am having fun with it. It's been uh, tough because some of the things uh, fail, just like all the car hobby is about. And sometimes you have some success. So I'm looking to have some success soon with it. This thing's just been so much fun. Here it is with its brother, Blackbird. And um, this is the first day I had it out under its own power took pictures of it just i couldn't believe it but i got it running and driving all on its own this thing is going to be a work in progress it's going to be a main feature of this channel um hope you can be along for the ride and enjoy it um oh it has a turbo 400 transmission and that's its fastest time 840 at 85 irwindale eighth mile shifting at 4300 rpm so there's a lot left in it view of the harlan sharp roller rockers and that was just a few weeks ago uh at my local car show the wiener schnitz old diamond bar car show and it's uh almost ready to go back out again please let me know if you like the way these uh, videos have been turning out i want to give you guys more content thanks for all the feedback and positive comments let me know if you have any questions about the build or anything else in the future